Welcome everybody to Crypto Rosetta. My name is Savage. Today we're going to be having a look at Pepe Coin. Let's get into the charts and see what's going on. Okay, so I just want to go over two of the options that we're looking for with the count here. Effectively, we're looking for the potential that we could actually count this as a completed B wave into this low here, though typically speaking, I like to see this come down a little bit lower. And that target would actually be the 66199 region. Now, if we are looking at this as a B wave, this means that we cannot cross this. 82,500 level anymore and we'll be looking for that continuation directly to the upside here so from our current area where we're sitting 0.618 would be up here at this 1828455 and then one to one would be up here towards this 1241232 level now if we are looking at this we need more evidence that we're actually going to see that play out we do have a good start for this but we need to see this continuation actually happen here and i still would be cautious around this high here that we have at the 449546 region so if we do see price push up here, I would still be on the lookout for that potential that we could still look for a rejection and still look to push to the downside. So this is looking for the continuation directly up. So what we need to be careful of, however, is that we could see something along these lines here where this whole move to the downside is a W. This is an X. And then we actually still have that potential to drop down one more time for a Y wave. Now, depending on how high we come here, Currently off of where we are, this would actually be this 66607 at the 0 0.618, which would be a minimum requirement. And then that one to one would actually be lower down here towards the 34939. So the way that we're going to look at this now is going to discuss how we're going to actually get this as an X wave or how we need to see this develop as that impulse to the upside. Okay, so we're going to go over the idea first that potentially we have a five wave move that's completed here. Now, if this is the case, what we could actually look at is that this move here could be one, two, three, four, and five, in which case we have this as an A, this is a B, and potentially we could see a C wave to the downside here. So what I'm looking at here is that if this is a flat correction up here as an expanding flat, or it could be a running flat, but um, you know, typically speaking, we would get expanding flats rather than running flats. They are more common. What I would be looking for here effectively is that we could be looking to complete this move to the upside fairly soon we've already come up to this one to one here which is at this um 184071 if we do see price push up a little bit higher here i would be interested in this 19741 area as a potential 1.618 of this a wave so that would also align with coming up into this 381382 at this 199666 and then obviously within that area we would also have that 200000 area as a potential psychological zone that we could look to actually target out so i would be keeping an eye on that as well as that we do have resistance sitting in this hot area you know so it is possible that we could look to swing fail some of these highs we're going to go over the range as well which has also got something in this zone so within this what we're looking for is effectively just to have a three-way move up and then confirmation will actually come by breaking this low point of this a wave if we get this as a b and we get one two three four five the next target area i would be looking for would actually be lower down here towards this 1618 at this 122880 as a possible 1618 but really it could be anywhere from this 1236 which is sitting here at this 136097 area and that 1618 now the typical zone that we'd actually look for would be a bit lower down here and this would be this level here of this 121292 that would be a 50% which is quite common for a flat correction um, to move down into this 50% so this would also be looking to come back and retest some of these highs so that's what I'm looking for here as you know confirmation now if we do see something that's this is a b what we could actually see is a move up towards this zone here of this 261062 at a one to one and if we had to actually move up higher here towards the zone of this 420145 then we would have five wave structure here well we would have potential for it anyway we would have this as one two this would then potentially become our third wave and then we'd be looking for the potential of a fourth wave and a fifth wave up now the key thing is here is we would not be able to cross this wave one high if we do get a move up here that would be in validation but the bearish alternative is that we're just looking for a three wave move to the upside and then looking for potential rejection and then that continuation to the downside. So if I overlay that idea of that W, X and a Y, we can see that this one to one would bring us just 
just above this zero points uh, this golden pocket area here which would be this uh, 248819 to this 235728 level so that would be our golden pocket if we do look to push up higher there is also some confluence here between this as a 1236 and this 0.786 sitting up here towards this 313072 level so i would also be interested in that zone potentially looking to target out this high that we've got over here so we would have to keep an eye on this if we do see additional moves to the upside like this so that's looking for that possibility of that x wave now we also need to be cautious because sometimes if we are looking to extend out we could actually just have this as a b and that's already completed and this b wave could actually be over here in which case this sh actually shifts these target areas up so then the 0 0.618 is actually sitting here towards this 218576 level and the one to one is actually sitting up here towards this zone of this 293320 so if we don't get this pushed down then potentially we could be looking at this straight as a one two three four five if it develops that in an a b and a c where we're looking for these higher targets i would be interested in these levels here i've got this target box area of this two four eight two seven seven to this two 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 four nine five area and within here we do have a daily naked point of control sitting at this two two four nine three three that i would be keeping an eye on here as well as the potential to come back and retest this little bit of a support zone that we have in this area of this 229845 region so going to be keeping an eye on that if we do see price actually continue to push to the upside here we could see that possibility where we actually look for um, an additional leg up here so like i said you know we, we run this rejection zone potentially we could see a move up towards that 0 0.618 but we need to be careful that if we reject hard off of this then it is quite likely that this could be actually um this as a c wave but this only holds if we actually continue to stay above this 8266 what we need to be careful of is that if this is just a b and c like this with an extended c wave we could actually just get this as a the start of that y wave to the downside where this becomes a we get a b and then we see that continuation down so we need to be careful of that that is our bearish scenario here now the alternative here is that potentially what we could actually have is that instead of looking at it in that way we could actually still be looking for a fifth wave because the time relationship between this wave and this is still enough that we could actually say yes it's fine as a fourth wave so if this is the case what we could actually be looking for is something like a diagonal here where we actually look at this as a b and c now if this is the case what i'd actually be looking for here would be a deeper retracement back to the downside possibly coming back into this trend line looking to possibly hit this 50 percent at this 160714 region alternatively if this becomes bigger move to the downside we could actually see something along these lines we actually see this come down into some of these lower levels now the golden pocket would actually bring us right back into the center of this range here which would be this 154602 152985 that's our golden pocket as well as that we do have the 786 sitting towards the zone of this 146299 which would be interesting because we'd be coming back into some of these lows over here alternatively we could also see something like a grind into this um into this channel and where we see a bit of a slower move to the downside and it drags out a little bit so potentially we need to keep an eye out for that but what we're looking for here effectively is this isn't that's a one look for a three wave move down three wave move up three wave move down three wave move up looking to form a wedge shape pattern here for this as a fifth wave now it is also possible that we could actually just get some extension where this is one two and this c wave is not completed yet now if we are looking at something like this what we could actually see is that we could see this push up in an extension and that would be looking at this move in this way we actually have this as one two we have this as one two here three four and then we're looking for this fifth wave now it is possible there are additional legs in this because of how choppy this is in the bottom end here i've got this as one two and then treating this as one two three four five but this could be one two one two here and then we actually have this has got another two fourth waves to play out here before looking for this fifth wave so the key thing here is to when we could when we're dealing with extension the previous fourth wave area if that continues to hold we always need to be cautious of that possibility of a push to the upside in a fifth again so that's looking for that possibility of um, continuation here now if we do see price actually push up towards this zone of this 209954 i would be then looking at this possibility of extension here currently the price is suggesting that as long as we actually hold this zone of this 170349 
we could actually see an additional fifth wave to the upside here looking for this 199133 through this 199066 region if we fail to hold this level though it becomes more likely that we're going to see that breakdown although until we actually take these lows here of this uh, 148959 and this area here of this 136402 we do still have potential for upside where we could argue that this is one two this is one we get three waves down hold this low and then we still look for that continuation to the upside so we need to be careful of that um, as well as that obviously we've got that idea of that diagonal so even if we do take this low it doesn't mean that we we going to just automatically break down for that five wave move we need to invalidate that diagonal as well which would only come by crossing this 136402 level so in the shorter term here what i'm looking for is i want to see three waves i want to hold this zone of this uh, 170349 and then i want to see a push to the upside if we do get a push to the upside and we push up towards this target area of this 1618 Potentially what we could then look to do is form an additional fourth wave here and a fifth wave, which could push us up into this target box of this 227565 to this 216448 region. Now that would actually be uh, looking at this as one, two, three, four, five. And then we would have to be careful because if we do see something like this, we can argue that, like I said, this could be one, two, three, four, and then we've had an extension in the fifth. Or alternatively, this can be this can be one, two, three, four, five. This is a B wave. And then we just get this as a C wave. And then we will be right in that zone that we typically look to reject for an X wave. We'd be coming up towards this golden pocket area here. So need to be careful of this. Um, what we'd want to see if this is going to have continuation and this is a fifth wave is effectively we want to see a five wave move complete to the upside. So this would be something like this one, two, three, four, five. Then we want to see three waves down and actually hold this low until we actually hold this low here we need to just be very careful with this one because we could actually see you know this bigger breakdown still happen to the downside because we're right we'd be right in that um, rejection area for this x wave if we do see these additional legs to the upside like this okay so now i want to just talk about this range that we've got here so if we treat this whole area as a range what we can see here is that we are actually approaching this value area high and this value area high is sitting up here towards the zone of this 196842 now this would also align with potentially looking to swing fail this high over here so if we see this price push up here break back down come back up get a retest start to fall away we need to be careful of that idea where we could see something like this as a flat correction and then moving back down to actually retest some of these lower levels alternatively if we're looking at that idea of this being a diagonal what we could actually see is our point of control is actually sitting back here towards this 157879 if we see three waves move back to the downside here looking to hold this level potentially that could actually look to be our wave two if we're looking at that idea of this as one two three four five looking for that idea of a diagonal which could actually then drag us up slowly into this point of uh, into this value area high that we have over here okay so i'm going to leave the video there i hope you found it useful if you did please smash the like button hit that subscribe button if you haven't already turn on those bell notifications so you never miss a video and leave us some feedback down below also in the description you'll find a link to the discord come check it out it is free to join everyone have a great day we'll see you in the next one take care